Phantom Audio Publishing presents Linda Goodman's Sun Signs. This program is about the second sun sign of the zodiac, Taurus, the bull. You'll get to know the people born between April 21st and May 21st, the Taurus man, woman, child, boss, and employee. To begin with, Taurus is an Earth sign. Taurus's ruler is the planet Venus. Its color is blue, its gem, sapphire. Some famous people born under the sign of Taurus are Barbara Streisand, Queen Elizabeth II, Billy Joel, Sigmund Freud, Audrey Hepburn, Harry Truman, Shirley MacLaine, Adolf Hitler, William Shakespeare, Gary Cooper, Stevie Wonder, Henry Fonda, Candace Bergen, Carol Burnett, Florence Nightingale, George Carlin, James Stewart, Willie Nelson, Jack Nicholson, Al Pacino, and Willie Mays. First, let's take a look at how to recognize Taurus. You can always tell Taurus the bull by his or her strong, silent attitude. Until you get to know them better, their lengthiest monologues may be, yep, nope, thanks, so long, and frequently, uh-uh, a substitute for nope. Taurus is solid and steady, and nothing disturbs his tranquility. You can beat on his chest with clenched fists, glare at him hypnotically, or shout at the top of your lungs. Taurus won't budge an inch. Once his mind is set, he sticks out his rather prominent chin, flares his nostrils, pins back his ears, and you've had it. The bull seldom rushes forward to stomp on your toes. He simply wants to be left alone. Don't disturb him, and he'll remain contented. Press him, and he becomes obstinate. Shove too hard, tease too much, and be prepared for anger. He'll snort, begin to paw the earth, narrow his eyes, and charge. Get out of the way as fast as you can, and run for your life. The Taurian temper is seldom displayed impulsively, but when the bull gets mad, he can demolish everything in his path. It may be some time before the dust settles, and peace reigns again. You can expect many May people to actually resemble a bull. The look in the female Taurian's eyes will be serene and limpid, yet steady. She'll move gracefully, indolently, but with a suggestion of strength. As for the males, the neck will often be thick or muscular. The shoulders, chest, or back are all three broad and strong. The entire body will be well-proportioned, whether short or tall. The ears are usually small and close to the head. When Taurians eat, they chew slowly and ordinarily have excellent digestions. You may notice a lock of hair resembling the bull's forelock or a curl that hangs in the center of the forehead. Many Taurians have curly or wavy hair. It's usually dark, like the eyes and skin. Even the occasional blonde, light-eyed, and fair-skinned Taurus will never suggest fragility of mind or character. Taurus is strongly attracted to the opposite sex, but aggressive pursuit of any kind of pleasure isn't in his bag of tricks. He prefers to attract people to him. In both love and friendship, passivity is the typical behavior. Taurians would rather entertain hospitably at home than go to the trouble of visiting. The effort required for scintillating popularity doesn't appeal to the bull's nature. If you want him, you can call him. He'll be there. Throw out the line of comradeship or romance, and he'll pick it up if it interests him. He'll know what to do with it, too, which isn't always true of the more gregarious signs. Taurus seldom worries. He can pout and brood when things don't suit his fancy, but he's not the nervous, twitchy type. It's his nature to be stoic and to take things in his stride. Taurus people are home folks. There is scarcely a bull who doesn't love to luxuriate amid comfortable, familiar surroundings. Change upsets him, unless there's a Gemini, Sagittarius, or Aquarius moon or rising sign. If the Taurus you know doesn't own his own home, he's dreaming about it, and he will someday. If he's forced to live in a crowded apartment building, he'll probably have a window box full of geraniums or petunias. Let the world spin at too dizzy a pace for him, and Taurus simply gets off for a spell until it slows down. 
There's always a connection with the land, however remote, like hanging around the racetrack or taking his Sunday stroll through the park and drinking in the sights and fragrances of nature. The average bull is superbly healthy, with a strong constitution. It takes a lot to put him on his back, but once he's down, he may recuperate slowly, partially due to his stubborn refusal to obey the doctor. There is no use telling a Torian he or she is obstinate. In the bull's mind, he's not stubborn at all. He's patient. It's a matter of semantics. He's not hard-headed. He's just sensible and firm. For the life of him, he can't see why people judge him so unfairly. The truth is that Taurus is as stubborn as a human can be and not actually turn into solid stone. Taurian men and women seem to be glued to both their seats and their opinions. Still, the bulls can also claim the virtue of patience with justification. Many a Taurian bears emotional and physical burdens in silence for years without complaint. The higher the troubles pile up, the more strength Taurus finds to bear them. His loyalty and devotion to family and friends often surpass all understanding, but he's still stubborn. Now, about the subject of money. The bull and his money are seldom parted. Not every Torian is a millionaire, but you won't find many of them in dire financial straits. Torians like to build empires slowly and surely. Oddly, they like to accumulate power along with cash, but simply for the sensual enjoyment of possessing it. They often turn over the action to subordinates. Just knowing the power is there, along with the dollars, seems to satisfy the Torian need for security. Why should he be bothered with the effort of manipulating all the strings? He'd rather snooze or smell a daisy. The bull prizes his cash and his possessions as he does his family, but he's not stingy. The Torian generous heart and pockets are wide open to real friends in real trouble. He's impressed by bigness. The larger a building, the grander it is to him, and he'll walk right past the monkeys at the zoo to stare in fascination at the powerful elephants. Taurus will face huge animals with magnificent courage, but he fears a mouse. A tiger on the loose won't cause the bull to flicker an eyelash, while a tiny wasp can send him climbing up the nearest tree in nervous panic. Fine paintings and great symphonies stir him deeply. Many Taurus men and women have beautiful voices. Music will always touch their lives in some way, and drawing or painting are often either hobbies or careers. The sensuous bull is tranquilized by the color of the sky. Shades of blue bathe his emotions with peace, also rose and pink in a lesser way, but never red, as any matador could tell you. The greens and browns of nature calm and soothe him too. Green paper money and a brownstone house will keep him perfectly contented. There's nothing small about Taurus, including his capacity for lasting love and his potential for wealth. Let the excitable ones scurry and squabble for first place. The bull's fixed nature needs no flaming torches to light the way to the security he seeks. Eventually, the success will come to him, and he'll be ready. Because Venus showers him with the love of luxury, he pays dearly for his possessions and treasures them for a lifetime. Yet he's the sworn enemy of waste and extravagance. His home is his castle, and let no one disturb the peace of the bull. Taurus is as patient as time itself, as deep as the forest, with a dependable strength that can move mountains. But he's stubborn. <laughs> The Taurus Man. Perhaps you picture the typical Taurus man as a quiet, practical soul, as sensible and down to earth as an old pair of shoes. It's true, he is. You may also observe that he's slow to move to action, deliberate and careful. True again. Therefore, you deduce it's only logical to assume he's not very romantic, positively false. The bull may take a long time deciding if he wants you for his woman. But once he's made up his mind that you're the one, that sensible, practical, slow, determined Taurus male is capable of sending you one pink rose each day until you surrender to his proposal of marriage or whatever. He can even write a poetic song or verse and bashfully mail it to you without signing it, knowing you'll guess the sender. Taurus can be a tender, gentle, and protective lover. 
His sensual nature will make him vulnerable to your exotic perfume, the smoothness of your skin and softness of your hair. He will like to see you dress in luxurious clothes and rich colors. He may not say so in flowery language to your face, but he will find a way to convey the message. The Taurus sense of touch is a tangible thing. Music will stir his emotions and put him in the mood for love. At Christmas, the typical Taurus man will remind you of Santa himself when he comes calling, loaded down with mysterious packages and sentimental trinkets. He'll suggest moonlight swims, picnics in cool, secluded woods, and walks down country lanes under the stars. His will be the largest, fanciest, most eloquent valentine the postman ever delivered on February 14th. When a Taurus man courts you, he courts you. You'll probably be taken to dine in glamorous restaurants with soft lights and violins, and he'll never forget the date you first met or any other intimate anniversary between you. For the love of buttercups, how much romance do you need? The bull isn't a wild dreamer like the Aquarian male. Taurus will never sweep you off your feet like a Leo or promise to take you floating away to live with him in a fairy castle, drifting on pink clouds forever and a day like an Aries. He's more likely to drop by on foot some Saturday night with the architect's blueprints for the house he plans to build for you out of real lumber and with real cash. This man means business. He plans carefully for tomorrow. When the bull lifts you across the threshold and plants you firmly in a substantial home, you can be sure the mortgage is secure at the bank. That's hardly something to complain about. Naturally, there are drawbacks to a romantic escapade with a Taurus male. For one thing, you'll have to brush up on your diplomacy. If you have any forceful opinions, don't shove them down his throat. He's extremely patient, but he won't wear a ring in his nose. On the other hand, he doesn't necessarily want a clinging vine either. He's too practical, and he likes his freedom too much to enjoy a female who sticks to him like rubber cement and cries at the drop of a hanky. A woman with some fire and spunk intrigues him and balances his own steadier maturity. No one can be kinder, more gentle, and truly tolerant than a Taurus man when he's secure. He'll do anything in the world for the woman he loves. The bull enjoys shopping around, and he'll seldom rush pell-mell into a serious courtship. The puzzled woman he's been taking to the movies every Saturday night for a year may wonder if he's ever going to catch fire. It takes time for him to work up enough steam in the boiler to get the engine going at full speed, but once he set his sights on a particular female, he can't be sidetracked. He may even forget to be sensible and cautious. The more his friends point out possible stumbling blocks, the more obstinate he gets, and you know how obstinate that can be. If the relationship doesn't work out, Taurus will take a long time to get over the emotional scars. The financial picture with the Taurus man is usually excellent. Few Taurians will fail to accumulate at least security, if not wealth. Some of them play the game of monopoly with real money, and they win. Both real estate and cash are easily conquered by the bull. He probably loves the country, football, fishing, and camping. If none of these, he likes flowers, gardening, or long walks. He prefers to read books about the dashing heroes of olden days or the biographies of empire builders rather than sophisticated fiction or deep philosophy. As a parent, he's a perfect delight. Taurus men make loving, affectionate, warm, and sympathetic fathers. He'll set high standards for the children and expect them to respect property and possessions. The Torian dad is patient. His attitude is that young minds should be trained gradually toward maturity. You may find that he puts too much emphasis on material matters and showers them with expensive gifts that spoil them. But he'll also shower them with his time and devotion, and the firm hand of discipline will be there when it's needed. The bull seldom skimps on furnishings, clothing, or food. Still, money won't burn any noticeable holes in his pockets. He loves luxury, but he's just as enamored with value, and he'll make sure his cash buys more than a salesperson's hot air. This man will work hard and need lots of rest. He can be quite a grumpy grouch when he's tired. Don't ever nag him or accuse him of being lazy. That's like waving a red flag in his face. He lives life at his own leisurely pace, and he won't be rushed or pushed. His speedometer is set at one speed, 
deliberate attempts to make him spin merrily through a continual round of whirlwind social activities are doomed to failure. He will enjoy entertaining in his own home, but he'll prefer a few people of compatible interest to large crowds. He likes good old-fashioned home cooking with plenty of potatoes and gravy and apple pie like Mom used to make. Buy him one of those chairs that stretches out into a reclining position. No loud noises, blaring radios and TV sets, chaos and scattered toys, please. Keep your home full of music, beauty, and peace. Taurus love is simple, plain, and honest. His affectionate nature and flattering attention will make you sure you are loved. No one else will ever treat you with such gracious consideration. Taurus gives enduring loyalty and devotion with a faithful heart. That adds up to emotional security. Combined with financial security and romance, there is little else to ask for. So, all right, he's stubborn. But remember, that stubbornness turned upside down is patience, and that's a rare virtue. You couldn't ask for a better man. Contentment is the word. Doesn't it have a cozy sound? <laughs> The Taurus Woman. A Taurus female is a tall woman. Even if she measures under five feet, she can reach tall enough to meet almost any emergency life chooses to throw her way. She may have a violent temper, but she won't go on a raging rampage without good provocation. There's enough self-control in the average Taurus woman's makeup to hold back a team of horses, a fair idea of the force of her hidden will, if she chooses to exercise it. But she'll play the game of life fairly, with cool, admirable calm. She has a gracious tendency to take people as they are, without quibbling. She's as much at home with a scientist who studies tsetse flies in the Congo as with the sword swallower in the sideshow. They're not phonies, and that's what counts with her. The Taurus woman can show cool indifference to her enemies, but if she counts you as a friend, she'll be loyal through all your ups and downs. There's just a small catch here. She'll doggedly expect you to return her blind allegiance and unswerving loyalty. If you don't, she can look like a gloomy gray cloud of repressed resentment. This isn't the same thing as jealousy, however. Unlike the Aries or Leo woman, she won't turn scarlet with rage if you openly admire a pretty woman. It takes more than a casual flirtation or kissing a female friend goodnight on the cheek to arouse her Taurian anger. If you go beyond the bounds of her idea of fair play, she can be a holy terror on wheels. But the line is drawn with generous strokes. These women aren't dominated by strictly mental goals. She can match brains with the brightest men and women, but she's not fiercely interested in figuring out the theory of relativity or delving into abstractions. She's a solid, practical thinker, with no frills or showy mental gymnastics. Her feet are planted on terra firma, and there are definitely no wings attached to her solid heels. Taurus women are seldom restless. They keep their heads and their balance. Her normally placid exterior conceals a sensual nature. She's strictly a physical creature. To interest her, an object or an idea has to appeal to her finely tuned senses. She doesn't want to hear that it's good for her or that everyone else is doing it. That sort of persuasion will make her yawn. To respond with genuine excitement, she has to derive some sensual satisfaction from everything she does. You'll seldom see a Taurus woman stuffing a few artificial blooms in a vase. Her flowers must be real. Her perfume will usually be exotic and lingering, though some Taurian women lean in the opposite direction and prefer the odor of squeaking clean hair and skin. They'll be visibly moved by freshly washed sheets saturated with the sweet smell of sunshine or the delicious aroma of baking bread in the oven. Unpleasant odors affect her just as drastically in a reverse way. Don't take her on a fish fry unless you take along a can of floral spray. It's the cooking odor that causes the problem. The fragrance of fish fresh out of the stream is different. That's natural. The stables won't offend her delicate nostrils either. Mother Nature again. 
You may have to make a careful list if you want to woo her with olfactory success. Colors send her senses soaring, too. The richer, the better. Every shade of blue, from powder to indigo, will weaken her strong resistance. So will rose and pink. Her food must taste just right, and she'll usually sprinkle on the seasoning generously. Be sure to take her to places with the best chefs, because flat hamburgers and bland pea soup leave her emotionally cold. If you're lucky, she'll invite you for a home-cooked meal. A typical tourist can cook her way right into your heart. Harmonious sounds and beautiful visual effects draw the Taurus female like a magnet. Most Taurian women have a marked talent for or an appreciation of music and art. Her doodles on the telephone pad are often very clever drawings. Concerts and art exhibits are a good bet on dates, and Niagara Falls or the Grand Canyon are the best choices for a honeymoon. She'll be ecstatic at the sight of nature's grandeur. It's a rare Taurus woman who has never been on a farm or hiked in the country. The earth beckons her with a seductive call, and she responds by throwing her arms around Mother Nature in honest rapture. Finally, there's the sense of touch. Taurus women are the ones who complain that your sweater is scratchy. The materials she wears will be soft and luxurious to the touch, and she'll probably dress with simplicity and taste. Her sensuous nature may not stretch to include fussy lingerie and dainty clothing. She prefers sportswear and plain, expensive outfits, and she dresses mostly for comfort. As you get to know her better, you'll realize that the Taurus woman can be a tower of strength. She's seldom demanding, except in the area of loyalty, and her disposition is generally even, down-to-earth and pleasant. People love her straightforward, easy-going manner. A Taurus woman doesn't like to be contradicted, especially in public. Remember that she likes to do things slowly. If you hurry her or rush her, she'll become angry, and it isn't wise to make a Taurian angry. Her tempo ranges from slow to deliberate and steady. It seldom raises to impulsive, but it can reach anger when she's goaded too far. Motherhood becomes her nicely. It blends smoothly with her serene disposition and matches her bovine nature beautifully. She'll fiercely and loyally defend the children from outside hurts and teach them to imitate her own honest courage. She'll cuddle little babies and adore toddlers, but as the youngsters grow older, she may be too strict and demanding. There's an unbending, stubborn streak in Torians that makes it hard for them to accept easily the multiple and confusing changes of adolescence. Most offspring of a May-born woman remember her as a warm maternal image in the early years and a pal with a sense of humor in their later years. The in-between years, when youthful impatience clashes with the bull's firm determination, may leave a few unpleasant memories. The Taurus mother won't stand for disobedience or defiance. She'll also find it difficult to tolerate laziness or sloppiness, and the children will probably keep their rooms neat. Or else. Taurus females are never sissies. They seldom whine or complain. They don't have a lazy bone in their bodies, despite their often slow, deliberate movements and need for frequent rest periods. They are excellent helpmates. Torians never expect to be supported without contributing their share. And they're miserable with a man who doesn't contribute his. Taurus women dislike weakness in any form. Their impassivity to pain and emotional stress is almost miraculous. A female born in May will want the best quality when it comes to food and furnishings. But she'll always keep a sharp eye out for bargains and be willing to wait for the luxuries she craves. Quick fortunes without a solid foundation don't appeal to her sense of stability. She'd rather build carefully for the future. This is a woman who will stay up night after night with a sick child and pray him back to health with a rock-bound faith, the kind of woman who can tenderly replenish a man's store of hope when the world has defeated him, infusing him with her own brave, dauntless example. 
She's as dependable and predictable as a grandfather clock, as capable of patching a broken pipe or fixing a blown fuse as she is of baking a cherry pie or sewing on a button. There's always room enough and love enough in her heart to welcome strangers and relatives to her hearth, and her house will warm you when you've just come in out of a storm. A Taurus female really is a tall woman. <laughs> The Taurus Child It may begin to be evident that your newborn baby is a Taurian when you try to dress him to take him home from the hospital. Put your little arms inside your nice sweater, Grandma, knit for you, you'll murmur in tender tones. Why are you clenching your little fists and holding your arms so stiff? Let go like a good little baby. Please let go. Uh, let me try, says your husband. Okay, come on now, kid. Let's get those arms in the sleeves. Hey, did you hear me, Charlie? Let go! The nurse approaches your little bull with professional efficiency. I'll do it. All right now, upsy-daisy, in the sleeve, fist first, that's the way. She forces the tiny arm through the opening in the sweater. Suddenly, your small bull's face turns a deep bluish-purple-red color, and a wail is heard that brings every nurse on the floor rushing into the room. Your Taurus baby is just announcing that he doesn't appreciate being pushed. It's a warning, and it will be repeated. Your neighbors will hear the same sound every time you try to press your May child into doing something he doesn't want to do. There will be lots of little problems, like trying to stuff oatmeal into a mouth that's glued shut and trying to force a chubby pink body suddenly turned to unyielding cement into the bathtub. You'll lose lots of weight and develop strong muscles. Outside of being just plain pig-headed, the Taurus baby is a delight to raise. Parents of Taurian boys and girls will find their youngsters cuddly and loving. The little bull will jump up on your lap to get a kiss and leave you out of breath with his bear hugs. He'll give your friends the same affectionate treatment if he trusts them. The children of both sexes will be strong, healthy, and athletically inclined. Taurus youngsters seem to be generally more competent even as toddlers than other children. For one thing, they're emotionally stable, seldom subject to deep moods of depression, fits of impulsiveness, or show-off tendencies. They can be negative and stubborn, sometimes shy and timid, but there are few of the normal hang-ups and growing pains. Except when they balk at being pushed too far or too hard, their personalities are smooth, cheerful, and quite predictable. There's a maturity about them that other children lack. Even the very young Taurians are usually quite well-behaved in front of company, but they'll act as if the cat got their tongues if they're forced to be the center of attention. A Taurian child quietly minds his own business, and the young bull will seldom embarrass you by rudeness or a smart-alecky attitude. However, if you challenge his temper by teasing him, which he can't stand, by applying steady pressure or demanding that he do something his mind is dead set against, he can turn belligerent. The only way out of such defiance is love. Never force. A loving squeeze or a big friendly kiss and a cheerful smile will coax him out of his obstinacy. Always speak gently and logically. Yelling and harsh voices raised in command will just make him shut his eyes and ears. He can resist discipline and orders until doomsday. He can't resist affection for a minute. Even when he's very young, his mind will respond to common sense. If it sounds reasonable to him, he'll do it. But he'll want a practical explanation. Nothing complicated, just the plain, unvarnished truth. You have to go to bed now because I say so will get you nowhere at all. However, a softly spoken declaration like, you have to go to bed now because we're going to turn out the lights. If you don't, we can't let you go out to play tomorrow because you'll be too tired. We'll probably get him into his sleepers and ready for the Sandman. It also works to say, hop into your warm bed now between your nice clean sheets while I tuck in your soft baby bear blanket. Then I'll read you a little story. No matter how stubborn he has been, he'll almost always turn into a docile angel at those words. His is a very sensual nature, and describing the feel of things seldom fails to strike a responsive chord. Colors and sounds will affect his disposition and his emotions deeply. 
bright clashing oranges and reds in his room will make him restless and obstinate. Pastel shades, especially pink and rose and all tones of blue, will produce almost magical results. This child will react to colors visibly. Loud noises will have the same effect. It's a good idea to give him music or singing lessons as soon as possible. Almost every Taurus child will have a low, soft, melodious voice, and many of them have considerable vocal or musical talent. He'll probably like to draw, color, or paint, and the chances are good that he may have some real artistic ability. Be sure your Taurus has lots of paper and colored pencils. It's his favorite way of expressing himself. Taurian boys and girls will be industrious in school, learn their lessons methodically, and have excellent powers of concentration. They're not whiz kids like the Gemini and Aquarian or Aries students, but they probably won't be tardy or throw spitballs in study hall. The Taurus youngster is ordinarily quite obedient. His mind absorbs slowly, but he never forgets what he's learned. Once you're resigned to the knowledge that nothing this side of a derrick will move your Taurus youngster when he digs his sturdy toes in the earth, you'll enjoy watching him grow up. He'll probably get tons of dirt on his clothes, but he won't lose his report card or his marbles. When he's older, he won't drive your car too fast or dent fenders. He may raid the refrigerator and eat the fried chicken you were saving for dinner or be tough on the new furniture but he'll be mighty easy on your heart when he gets big, and he won't forget your birthday. Raise your little bull or heifer in a cozy, snug atmosphere of love. Don't pull on his horns too hard, and let him graze at his own calm tempo. Fill his ears with music and his eyes with beauty, and he'll fill your heart with peace someday. <laughs> The Taurus Boss You say you have one of those sweet Taurus bosses who never nags or fusses, and you don't need any advice or tips on how to handle that complacent, dear, docile creature? Well, you're certainly learning your sun signs just in time to avoid a disaster. Before it's too late, you'd better memorize the one major rule for dealing with a Taurian executive. Don't try his patience too far. It's a tougher rule than it seems. If he or she is a typical Taurus boss with such enormous patience, it's downright tempting to try it. He's so meek and understanding when you turn in a letter that's sloppily typed, you may not bother to check your spelling too often afterwards. He's so considerate when you mess up the figures in your semi-annual report, you may be a little careless with your math on other papers. Since he doesn't yell and glare at you when you take an extra half hour at lunch, you may try for an extra hour the next week and gradually stretch it to two hours. It's so easy to slide into a fool's paradise. You'd better hang one of those danger, ferocious bull signs over your desk. It might save you your job. The reason your boss was so nice and unruffled was not because he's a shaggy bear pushover, nor was it because he's too shy and timid to express his wishes or exert his authority. Frankly, he didn't see any point in embarrassing you by making a big fuss over a few goofs. He figured you had enough common sense, remember that phrase, not to repeat yourself like a broken record. He decided to watch you patiently to see if you were practical enough to profit by past errors. His patience was carefully calculated toward a definite purpose, to test you and to give you a chance to prove your mettle. He admires people who learn the knack of disciplining themselves. He's a self-made man, now why shouldn't you be? He's determined to give everyone a fair break. He won't judge hastily. He won't expect miracles overnight, nor will he mind if you're a little slow in catching on to his methods and his very set procedures. But make no naive mistakes about his ultimate goal. He wants things done his way. Once you've pressed his patience too far, he'll first balk, then snort in anger, and finally shout, you're fired. Know beyond any doubt that he's not going to change his mind after he's decided to sack you. Nothing changes the Taurus mind once it's made up. He may give you a generous slice of severance pay because he doesn't want that cold-hearted landlord to throw you out in the snow, but he won't give you any more chances. The Taurian boss is a thoroughly practical soul. Although he needs to express the beauty in his nature creatively, he needs even more to succeed materially. 
Torians want to build an empire. He'll build gradually, without flash or fanfare, but he will build. He sticks to anything he starts and finishes what he begins, and he'll expect you to do the same thing. He wants his facts plain, not fancy. One of his favorite phrases will be, get to the point, but he'll say it without rancor or sarcasm. Lengthy preliminaries and explaining ideas make him nervous, though he'll retain his outward immobility. It will be frustrating when he refuses to budge an inch for your most exciting concepts. Granted, sometimes he's wrong for refusing to listen to progressive ideas, and you'll feel smug when another company tries them first successfully. But over the long haul, when the final score is tallied, he'll come out ahead. Taurus executives always try quiet, common-sense discussions to avoid emotional scenes. Remember, common sense is his key phrase, but that doesn't mean he's lacking in imagination or appreciation of the finer things in life. You may chafe at his stubborn, bull-headed attitude at least once a week, but remember this about your Taurus boss. He's also stubborn about being loyal to people who never let him down. He's really quite gentle if the red flag of defiance isn't waved in his face too often. Grab some concrete blocks and help him build his empire. He'll be glad to share it with you if you deserve it. He'll expect you to carry your own weight, but he'll always give you a lift when the load gets heavy. He's strong and dependable. He says what he means, and he means what he says. You won't need an interpreter. If he says you're a blockhead, leave quickly. If he says you'll do well enough, you have real job security. That means you've passed his test of loyalty, sincerity, ability, and potential. Congratulations. Don't let it swell your head, and you have a promising future ahead of you. The Taurus Employee Whatever desk a Torian's assigned to, he'll root himself behind it with determination to succeed, and he probably will. He'll work slowly and aim for perfection, which he usually achieves if he's left alone and not pushed too fast. The more responsibility the position requires of him, the smarter you'll be to put him in charge. You'll seldom enjoy the services of a more dependable, trustworthy, and honest employee. He'll seek to help your company expand, not his own ego. Much as he dislikes change, if he's an exceptional Taurus, you won't keep him forever. Once he's established the growth of your company, he's not the type to remain there and run it for you. Taurus is more interested in building power and wealth. He wants to be free to continue to build instead of being tied up with intricate details. When there's no more incentive to grow with your firm, he'll feel the legendary Taurian itch to lay his own foundation and direct his own empire, minor or major. A Taurus employee is always an outstanding worker, and one of his most endearing qualities is his willingness to take orders without resentment. The reason behind it is simple. He has an inner conviction that the way to become a boss who gives orders is to be first a cheerful subordinate who takes orders. As far as he's concerned, you're in charge. But don't let his kindly disposition nor his sensible acquiescence to superiors fool you into thinking he can be easily shoved around. In the end, Taurus will have his own way. His success is even more assured by his ability to wait as long as necessary until he wins out over the pushy types. However, when his personal emotions are trampled on or his deep pride is hurt, his cool steadiness may disappear and be replaced by a childish stubbornness and a fierce display of temper. It won't last long, and the bull will be ominously quiet after such a charge, but if the cause isn't rectified immediately, he'll simply leave, and he won't glance behind him. Emergencies don't throw Torian employees off balance. A crisis brings out the best in them, and that's considerable. Taurus people of both sexes hate to sleep in strange beds, a phrase they're fond of repeating. Therefore, most Taurian men and women prefer to spend their vacations at home. When he's on vacation, sensually sipping lemonade and inhaling the scent of flowers from his hammock, you can safely call him in for an office emergency. He'll probably oblige with a good-natured grin, but there's a limit to his patient acceptance of repeated impositions. The bull works happily as a florist in the livestock or poultry industry, in supermarkets or in the wholesale food industry. He makes a good doctor or engineer, too. The sound of music and the visual hypnotism of art pull him magnetically. 
He's never more at home than when he's expressing himself creatively through his senses, as long as the financial rewards are sound and the foundation isn't shaky. After the bull has found the right meadow where the opportunities grow plentifully, he seldom seeks change or new fields to conquer. Taurus is capable of persevering until the rewards come, but only when he's at the center of things, never when he's insecurely chewing around the edges and hoping for a break. Once he feels the necessary sense of achievement and security beneath him, and once he's planted himself in a position where he can build ever higher, he moves forward with confidence. Then he'll have a lifelong love affair with success. Linda Goodman's Sun Signs was adapted and produced by Ariel Productions International and narrated by Jean Richards and Peter Thomas. Copyright 1987, Bantam Audio Publishing. Original music composed and performed by Bob Sakayama. Look for other Sun Signs programs in your store. Linda Goodman's Sun Signs book is available wherever books are sold. <laughs>